Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Before we begin, please make sure that you like and subscribe because it really does help us out over here and it also helps us reach others in need of assistance with these particular topics. So what we're going to be going over today is geometry. We are going to find some angles and this will be our second part of this series. So what we have here is we have to determine all the unknown angles for this object shown over here. We only know one of them being 40 degrees, and we have three unknown of A, B, and theta. That is a Greek letter. If you have not seen it yet, that is theta. And the way you would pronounce that is theta, spelled like that. So we also have to state which ones are acute, right, or obtuse angles once we find them. So there are two methods that you can go about finding these angles. One is going to be the very fast one. The other one's going to be a little bit slower, but more involved that if you have trouble understanding the fast one, this one you can definitely do. So what we're gonna do is that we are going to start with the quick one first. So the first method on how to solve these. Well, with this, whenever you have anything in a pattern like this, like an X shape or some form of an X, angles that are opposite one another are going to be equal. And this is the property of what's called vertical angle properties and vertical line properties, either one. So the angle shown in red will be equal to one another. The angle shown in blue will be equal to one another. So by this statement, A will be equal to B. And our first one is that theta it will be 40 degrees. <clears throat> so as I said, this is the fast method because we already got one of them. So how do we find the other one or the other two? Well, we just have to find one of them because A is equal to B, B is equal to A. So which one do you want to find? Eh, doesn't really matter. So let's just redraw a picture real quick. So we have theta over here, which is 40 degrees. These are straight lines, which means that this entire angle here is 180 degrees. So if we want to find what A is over here, we would just take 180 degrees, subtract off 40, and that would give us A. So let's do that. So A equals 180 degrees minus off 40 degrees, and that gives us 140 degrees. And since A and B are opposite angles, which are vertical angles, B is also 140 degrees. Now, the reason why I know this is 180 degrees, I didn't really elaborate too well on that, but a straight line will always be 180 degrees. And any degrees, two of them making up that 180 degrees will be supplementary angles, which means they will tally up to be that 180 degrees. So theta, which is 40, A will be the supplementary angles. They add up to be 180. So we can easily find what A and B are from that. So that was our first method. Now let's just go ahead and write out what our angles are. Acute. Acute is anything less than 90 degrees. A right angle is anything equal to 90 degrees. And an obtuse is anything larger than 90 degrees. So my theta is an acute angle because it's less than 90 degrees. It's at 40. And A and B are obtuse angles because both of them are greater than 90 degrees. I don't have any right angles in here because nothing is exactly 90 degrees. So that's method number one. And you can just see how fast that can be if you get a little bit of practice with this. But if you're a little bit slower and you couldn't follow along there, let's go on to method number two. Method number two will be a little bit slower here. So let's go ahead and we're just probably just going to erase all this here. Just get it all out of here. I'm sure there's a faster way to do that, but oh well. So method number two, what we're going to do is that we're going to break it this picture apart and we are going to look at each individual portion. So let's look at A first, A and our 40 degrees. So this is what we have going on. 
we have the 40 degrees and we have angle A here. This is a straight line. Anytime you have a straight line, the total angle of that straight line will be 180 degrees. So these angles are supplementary, meaning that they tally up to be 180 degrees. So we can find A because A plus the 40 degrees gives us 180 degrees. So if we just rearrange, A will be 180 degrees minus off the 40, which gives us 140 degrees. Okay, well now we know this is 140 degrees. Let's find out what B is. Okie dokie. So let's redraw. So with B down here, we're going to draw it right here. Uh, let's see. We have the line going this way. Oh, pfft. that's what happens when you hold the cursor down for too long. We have this going on here. So let's redraw that make a little bit better. There we go. So we have 40 degrees here and we have beta over, or B over here. Just like with A, this line is 180 degrees. So the 40 degrees and the B angle are supplementary again. So B plus the 40 degrees will equal 180 degrees. So just like with A, we can rearrange and B will pop out to be 140 degrees. So now we know that this is 140 degrees, just like A. And that goes along with our theory that we had or our method that we had with method number one. Okay, then let's get our last one, theta. Well, we can use angle A or angle B to solve for that. I'm just gonna use angle A over here. So this is A, which is 140 degrees. And then we have our angle theta over here that's unknown. Same idea as last time. This is 180 degrees for a straight line. These are supplementary angles. They tally up to be 180 degrees. So theta is just 180 degrees minus 140 degrees, which gives us 40 degrees. So once again, just determine if they're acute, right, or obtuse, anything over 100, uh, uh, anything over 90 degrees, sorry, is obtuse. So that's A and B. Anything under 90 degrees is acute, which is theta, and the 40 is also an acute angle. And we have nothing really equal to 90 degrees, so nothing is a right angle. So this is method number two of how to solve for these unknown angles, just a little bit more drawn out, and it's fine if you're not there yet. It just takes practice to get really well at it. So there are two methods on how to do it, one really quick and one a little bit more drawn out. But overall, I hope this video was helpful. And if you want to see more problems solved this Friday, please check out other videos on our channel. Also, if you haven't done so already, please like this video, leave a positive comment below, and subscribe to our channel because it really does help us out. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a fantastic day.